which is the best platform to post your social media content on? It's the big question and we're going to try and figure out the answer. If you're watching this video, the possibility is you're making content or you want to make content for your business, but you're just, you're at a bit of a lost cause and you're not sure what platform is best for what, where should I post the content? Is it worth posting there? Should I even bother? Let's answer a few of those questions because... Hopefully I can help. So let's address them platform by platform, shall we? Let's start with the most obvious that everybody is talking about all the time, TikTok. Currently one of the fastest growing social media platforms. It's completely video and relies very heavily on the For You page. It relies on the algorithm suggesting content that you will like and then you'll engage with. There's none of these traditional looking timelines that we have on other social medias. Instead, it's just one screen with videos playing all the time and you just swipe through them. You, I don't need to explain what TikTok is. You know what TikTok is. But let's have a look at the facts and the figures. Is it worth your time? Because all we ever hear from people like Gary V is that this is the best platform to be on. But is it the best platform to be on? Well, in terms of numbers, here they are. So it recently, last year for me in 2021, hit one billion users and 35 percent of those users are aged between 19 and 29 however a lot of people say it's a very young demographic well actually 19 percent of those a billion people are 39 plus so actually there's quite an older demographic a large majority of older people on tiktok and that's what happens with these platforms the older they get the more popular they get more people come on over so it's no longer just a place for your you know your cool kids to hang out it's fast becoming a major social media platform that everybody is on. In my opinion, TikTok is incredibly powerful. I'm pretty sure that everybody is on it or has been on it at some point and everybody gets quickly addicted to it. The fact that you can just keep on scrolling through videos and it will just feed you more and more and more just makes you want to stay onto the platform. And that's kind of why it's a good platform is that the chances are your content will get seen. It means that more content can go viral very quickly, whether that's personally or as a business. But let's have a look at it from like the marketing perspective because I think that's probably where most people look at it from. 14% of marketers plan to up their spend on TikTok paid in 2022. So that's actually not that many when you think about it. TikTok paid, the you know advertising arm of TikTok, is underutilized and it's only going to get more and more popular. So if you're thinking about which platform should I serve adverts on, TikTok is probably one that you should think about. However, if you're looking from a purely organic status, I mean, you've got to post on TikTok, right? The barrier to entry is so low, which means that anybody can make a TikTok. They're fun, they're engaging, and people enjoy watching them. And the best thing is because you can go viral so easily, you can very quickly build a very strong fan base. However, followers don't mean as much on TikTok as other platforms. Because of the nature of TikTok and the way it works, and the majority of people spend all their time on the For You page and not the following page, means that a lot of the time followers don't necessarily mean views. Instead, you're relying fully on the Instagram algorithm to recommend your videos to the people that follow you. So this can be a, a bad point and a good point. The bad point is you can build up a massive following basis, but unless people are using that follow tab, you're only going to come up when your video is already popular. So that's definitely something to think about. If you want to build a, a following, a really loyal fan base, you might be best looking at another platform. But you can't ignore the growth of TikTok and how fast it has become a major part of everyone's lives. So I think it's worth a try. Let's go to the one that we all know and we all remember. It's Facebook. Facebook is no longer the cool platform to be on. Much more of the older demographic are on it and they spend a lot of time on it. It's one of the main ways a lot of people get their news and current events and it's not going to go away anytime soon. The paid side of Facebook is beyond anything else. And part of the reason for this is because it's the biggest social media platform there is. But because of this, it means that the organic is massively lacking. Unless you are running a meme page where you're delivering people funny photos every day, the chances of your Facebook page being seen by anyone is fairly low. And so if you're looking for organic social reach, probably best to ignore Facebook. If you're looking to run adverts and drive people to your website using Wonga, then Facebook, 100%. In fact, $50.3 billion was spent in the US in 2021 alone on Facebook. So for paid, Facebook is definitely the place to go. For organic, 
not so much. Now, Instagram is probably the platform which is undergoing quite a lot of changes. It's having a bit of an identity crisis, but that could be a good thing and I'll tell you why. Instagram for the longest time was a photo sharing app. You went on there to take selfies, you went on there to post your photography, all that stuff. But then video became more and more and more unpopular. And now that TikTok is a thing, Instagram wants a piece of that pie. The founder of Instagram himself has come out and said that Instagram is no longer just a photo sharing platform. It's a video first platform, which means if you're creating video content, it's happy days. If you're used to posting photos on there, not so much. Instagram is owned by Facebook or Meta as it's now called, which means that they have a huge amount of money to plow into whatever they want to do. And that thing right now is Reels. It's the competitor to TikTok. And in my opinion, is a much easier platform to use. When I create a reel, I feel much more at home in there. I've made stories in there. It works a similar way. When I make a TikTok, to me anyway, it's it's very difficult and very confusing. And that's one of the main reasons why I think reels might be quite successful. And also the fact that Instagram is favoring reels massively now. If you create reels, they're, they're, they're gonna do very well. And the reason is because they're pushing that constantly. However, their algorithm isn't quite as good at recommending videos like TikTok is, and that's where TikTok is winning. So until Instagram iron out those issues and make sure that their For You page is just as good as TikTok's, then TikTok will always win. But I can see Reels being an incredibly vital part of anyone's business strategy and definitely shouldn't be somewhere where you're focusing. For businesses, Reels just kind of makes sense. You've already got an Instagram profile, probably with followers and a loyal community on there. So just posting Reels helps you expand that even further. I use Reels in my personal brand much more than I do any other social media platform. And so if you're looking for something where you might already have a user base and it's just a great social network, I'd say Instagram should be up there. And then finally, in my opinion, one of the most important social media platforms is YouTube. You might not necessarily think of it as a social media platform because you don't go on there to see what your mates are doing, but it is, in essence, a content platform, right? In fact, it's the second biggest search engine second to Google, who own YouTube. If you wanna watch content, you go to YouTube, no matter what it is. If you wanna find out how to do something, you YouTube it. If you wanna find out what games are hot right now, you YouTube it. If you wanna watch somebody falling down the stairs, I mean, maybe TikTok, but probably YouTube as well. And the biggest part of YouTube is that it creates evergreen content. Your content lives on there forever. Its lifespan is so much longer than something like TikTok. TikTok, it has its moments and then it goes. Whereas YouTube, it can go viral multiple times over and it will always be there for people to search. And that's why if you're a business, I would massively recommend YouTube. Start creating content, whether you're an e-commerce brand or a B2B brand. Make YouTube content for your demographic and then just leave it up there. Because what's the worst that's gonna happen, right? If you're really smart with YouTube SEO, you can really look into making sure that your videos always come up the top at search results, and you can even monetize those videos further down the line, which is a very successful way that companies can make a bit of side profit. So hopefully this information hasn't been too much for you and you understand maybe a little more what platforms are best for you. So if you like this video and you wanna find out more about growing a business and how you can do it, then click the little subscribe button, drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment. What's social media platform is your favorite.